Along with Core ML, Apple also introduced the Vision Framework in iOS 11. As you might guess from its name, and that we're talking about it in this course, Vision is designed to help with computer vision tasks. For example, it can detect rectangular shapes and text in images. And it can detect faces and even track moving objects. Most importantly for you, Vision makes it easy to run Core ML models that take images as input. You can even combine this with other Vision tasks into an efficient image processing pipeline. For example, in an app that detects people's emotions, you can build a vision pipeline that first detects a face in the image, and then runs a Core ML-based classifier on just that face to see whether the person is smiling or frowning. It's highly recommended that you use vision to drive Core ML if you're working with images. Take the Healthy Snacks model. It needs a square 227 pixel image as input, but images from the photo library or the camera will be much larger and are typically not square. Vision will automatically resize and crop the image. In the automatically generated Swift file for the ML model we just looked at, the input image has to be a CV pixel buffer object, but the UI image picker controller we're using gives you a UI image instead. Vision can do the conversion for you, so you don't have to worry about CV pixel buffer objects. Vision can also rotate an image so that it's always right side up and match its color space to that of the device. We'll add image classification in viewcontroller.swift's classify image method. Because we're relying on Core ML and Vision, you'll need to import them first. These are Apple frameworks, and they're not Swift only, so you can expect all of their types to have two letter prefixes. You've already seen the ML for Core ML, Vision uses VN. And what we'll need now is a VN Core ML request object. You'll typically create a request object once and reuse it for every image that you want to classify. So a lazy variable is a good choice. First, you'll need a VN Core ML model based on an instance of Healthy Snacks, which bridges the gap between model representations in the two frameworks. If the force unwrap there made you cringe, that's a healthy response. You should handle potential errors better in your own apps, but in the interest of your time, I'm generally not going to bother in this course. Moving on with the model ready, you can create your VN Core ML request. One of the tasks that request will perform is scaling an image down to the small square we've gone over. The request's image crop and scale option tells Vision how it should do that. We'll go with center crop. Vision is going to scale your image to the correct size for you, but you need to choose the method that's going to work best. And that depends on how your model was trained. When training happens, a model is shown many different example images to learn from. They'll all need to be sized down to the same resolution. There are different ways to do this, and not everyone uses the same method when training their models. Ideally, you'll know what image crop and scale option was used and match that in your Vision Core ML request. Vision offers three possible choices. The center crop option first resizes the image so that the smallest side is the required pixel dimension, 227 for SqueezeNet, and then it crops around the center square. Unless the image is square to begin with, pixels from two edges of the image will be discarded, so it's essential that the object of interest is in the center of the image. With Scale Fill, you keep all of the data from the original image but it gets stretched if the image is not in the necessary aspect ratio. Finally, scale fit keeps the aspect ratio intact, but compensates by filling in the rest with black pixels. For the Healthy Snacks app, I can tell you that our team trained the model using center crop, so we'll use it for the request as well. Just make sure that the object you're pointing the camera at is near the center of the picture for the best results. Now with the request object at hand, you can implement the classify image method. First, convert the UI image you'll be getting from the UI image picker controller to a CI image. Vision prefers to work with core graphics or core image objects. Either will work fine. The advantage of using CI images is that you can apply core image transformations if you need to. Next, you'll need to convert the image's orientation to a core graphics representation. More on that in a moment. Now you can create a VN image request handler. When you take a photo with an iOS device's camera, regardless of how you're holding it, the image data is stored as landscape because that's the native orientation of the camera sensor. iOS keeps track of the true orientation of the image with the image orientation property. For an image in your photo album, the orientation is stored in the file's EXIF metadata. Most image classification models expect to see the input image with the correct side up. A Core ML model does not accept image orientation as input. 
Image classifiers are typically trained to account for images being horizontally flipped so that they can recognize objects facing left as well as facing right, but they're usually not trained to deal with images that are otherwise transformed. If you pass in an image that is not oriented properly, the model may not give accurate predictions. This is why you need to tell Vision about the image's orientation, which you're doing by way of a VN image request handler. Performing the request is an expensive operation, so using a background queue is a good idea. I'll just move all the code for the method there. The perform method takes an array of VN requests, so you've got the potential to perform multiple Vision requests on the same image if you want to. But here, we'll just create a single element array from the classification request property. This combination of a VN Core ML request, along with a new VN image request handler for every image, is something you'll find yourself using in any app that uses Vision and Core ML together. So now, let's process the results, which are going to be Vision classification observations found in Vision requests. First, let's get back on the main queue and cast the first result to VN classification observation. Results is going to contain a classification observation for each possible class. In this app, that's two, healthy and unhealthy. Vision automatically sorts the results by probability, so the first result represents the highest confidence. We'll be displaying that confidence as a percentage. The request also has an identifier, which is the name of the class. Let's put them together in a label and show the results. The place that we'll be calling process observations from is the completion handler for our request, which by default was nil. The second parameter, which I ignored here, is an optional error. Now we can start classifying some snacks. 